We're McCormick Electric. We work in all aspects of the electrical, commercial industrial wiring. We also do uh, hole boring for setting poles. Uh, we do the trenching for laying in underground cable. In 1984, uh, Low Manufacturing asked about the uh, marketability of a trencher attachment, and I uh, told them that I'd like to buy the first one. Then they told me to go out and try to break it. They said if I could break it, they could fix it and make the next one stronger. So it's been a good relationship I've had with them. I've had, I think, three different trenchers over the past 30 years. They've made improvements, and I've just bought the improved model. <laughs> These units will take abuse. Lord knows we abuse them in Crawford County here. We're a lot of rocks. There's a lot of limestone. After using previous units, we've spent more time repairing than operating, it seems like. I just have never broke the trencher chain. I've never broke a, uh, an auger. Sure, the teeth on the augers wear out. That's just normal wear and tear. You just replace them keep on going. Anytime that we've uh, needed parts or service, we just went back to the dealer, a quick phone call, uh, they had the parts on the way. I was very happy when they came out with the grapple. It's been a great product for business, for uh, getting that timber and so on, getting the trees off of, out of the way, for cutting firewood from my own furnace. Nothing bent, nothing broke to this point, so I think it's a very well-constructed piece of equipment as well. So it's been 30 years of smiling. <laughs>